All right, this week we're looking at 2 Corinthians 8. It won't be me preaching. We have a surprise guest preacher. I'll leave that as a mystery for now. Uh, but I thought we could have a look at one particular Old Testament reference that Paul sneaks in. Uh, it's in 2 Corinthians 8, verse 15, which says, As it is written, whoever gathered much had nothing left over, and whoever gathered little had no lack. I wonder if you know what that's referring to. That's referring to the manna that God gave them in uh, the time of the Exodus. So if you turn back over to Exodus 16, you'll see that the story really uh, rebukes us and encourages us. And we try to think about God's generosity to us, which, of course, Paul is trying to use to spark our own generosity. Uh, the rebuke from uh, Moses to Israel was that when this meat and this, this manna is coming from the sky, why are you complaining? Why are you grumbling? And he says in verse 8 uh, that uh, your grumbling is not against us, but against the Lord. We need to know that God is gracious to us. And in fact, the encouragement is exactly that. Um, in, at the end of this uh, little incident, um, Moses said, This is what the Lord has commanded. Let an omer of it be kept throughout your generations so that they may see the bread with which I fed you in the wilderness when I brought you out of the land of Egypt. You see, God's grace to us, like his grace to Israel, is meant to shape what we think we have in our hands and what we think we, uh, we've we received from God in particular. And so as we think about own generosity, it really starts from this. What do you think God has given you? Right, maybe this Friday morning you can take 30 seconds to just sit there and be still and you ask yourself, what do you think God has given you in your life? Is it plenty? Is it enough? Um, is it uh, at a place where maybe as Paul is quoting, uh, there wasn't a, you know, an abundance of everything you wanted, but you're also not lacking? How does that shape your heart? So we'll leave that with you. But now, uh, as you have a think about that, turn to 2 Corinthians 8 and read, let's read it together.